Hey there guys, so I'm just going to quickly cover in this video um, how you install to a dedicated server for a lot ATC from scratch. Um, the quickest way of doing this is we want to go to lot ATC. We're not going to grab the alpha version directly to the installer, we're going to grab the um, OVG SME version. Now this is bugged at the moment and really probably um, would not be the version you download. So the other one is if you don't have these you'll want to grab these as well. Obviously, I'm remoted into my desktop. So, okay, we have our packages. Now we need to get them installed. So, we're going to come in here. I've got my saved games where I can easily get to it. It just makes my life a little easier. Um, though it does help if I'm looking on the right machine. So, we're going to come to save games. And for this one, I'm going to do the light install here. We will delete these. These are here because I've done an install before. So, we're going to open up this. We can see that we have a couple of files in here. My bad there. So we've got our ATC server 1.0 alpha. We've got to read me first, which if you read, runs you through exactly what you need to do. If you do not have the Visual C runtime distributed tools, go get them like that tells you to. Um, and the like, and also these parts. I believe this folder may have changed and Dart needs to update his information here for this, but we'll get to that in a moment. Um, Dart's doing a lot of updates at the moment to this, and it's like I said, it's bugged, but we come into here, we have these. You literally want to drag these into here, so I want to basically go like this and like this. Now there is an issue at the moment where if you have SLmod on your server, that ATC isn't going to play nice. Dart's working on it, he's been informed about it. But you should end up with mods tech lot ATC and scripts hooks lot ATC. Now on the dedicated server, you now need to go do a couple of extra little bits before we leave here, just so that we get them done now and we don't forget. We want to bring up the config lua file and we're going to edit it in notepad plus plus and I'm just going to tell it to reload that file for me for a moment. So if you're running multiple instances each one will need to be on a different port. So I'm leaving this one on, zero, on 10310 but if I wanted to run this on, say, the main server plus this one, I'd need 
each server to be on its own port just like you need each dedicated server to be on its own port. You set your passwords here and here. You can set your number of max number of clients here and here. Just as the room text says, virtual AWAX here, anything you want to ignore here, blah blah blah. We come to here though, we want to change dedicated mode to read true. The reason we want this is because this is what controls this loading in. Now there is a bug again at the moment which Dart's aware of and is the thing where these will report as an issue, but we'll show that in a minute. So with that done there, we just save the config lure, and we're done there. We've got the other part of this that we need to do. So. What we want to do is, if we go, if we actually bring that back up. So if we bring this back up, and we look, we've got this part where Dart says use a lot ATC for data. So if we come back here, if we come down to C drive, users your username. You need to make a folder in here if you don't have one and you actually want it called for lot ATC 2.0, lot ATC data like this and you'll drop these into it. So you'll make a new folder called lot ATC data if you're using one point Two, three, I think it is. You'll make this folder called uh, lot ATC for DCS data. So it'll be like this. And then you drag this into here. like so for each of the terrain maps that you want to be able to run. Um, I've already got it here. The other thing you'll do is any licenses you want on the server side you can put technically in here. You can also put them elsewhere. It may actually be in this one just here in the server folder. I was trying to troubleshoot some stuff. So what we'll do here is we'll actually We'll do this properly. We'll delete this folder. Empty it. Yes. So we're going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it lot ATC data. We'll drag What do I do with the caucuses? There it is. We'll drag all of those over, so that now gives us the all of these. And now we are going to start the dedicated server up, and we're going to check the logs as it starts up. So in my case, I've got my handy little app here, which lets me start up whatever server instances I want. So in my case I just did this install to private so I'm going to start up private here. And I'm gonna let it start up and we're gonna come have a look at the logs. And I'm going to, if you do not have glogger, I strongly recommend getting it. So we're going to have a look and see that this happens. So 
saw.atc and loaded it. And then we get this part, this darts aware of this happening here, so we ignore this for the moment. We want to check that this is happening here. We want to check that this part's happening. This is happening. And that this is all happening. So this just tells it that it's actually loaded the correct profile. So at this point, as far as it's concerned, it should all be up and running. And we can then test that on our local machine, which I currently don't have 2.0 installed on. I uninstalled it because of the bugs I've been having. Um, but you go through and you try and connect to the server. Um, and that's it it should all be up and running. For server-side licenses, like I said, like I showed before, there will be a new folder that's created and it will actually be in here, not ATC data in here, in your open beta folder. In here you want to put your licenses and the like. Um, and we actually want to go to private, so it'll have created this folder and you put your licenses in there. So, lot, lot ATC data, server, licenses and drop them in there. That's um, everything I can think of at the moment. Anyway, I hope that helps Yes, I'll try and update this video with better walkthrough and the like once Dart gets 2.0 um, running a little smoother. Bye.